Today we're going to discuss a pretty important topic relevant to many of you. How do I explain that gap in my employment when I'm interviewing? There are definitely times that we have large gaps and they will question you about them. So in this video, I am going to share five tips that will help you navigate this question with confidence. My name is Jane Lance, also known as the communication trainer, and I founded Corporate Speech Solutions 17 years ago. We specialize in developing strong communication skills, public speaking skills, and modifying accents that may be interfering with career success. Our goal is to empower our clients to communicate confidently and effectively in all situations, whether giving a presentation, leading a meeting, or in day-to-day -day conversations. If this is an important topic to you, you may want to subscribe in order to get more juicy tips. You also might want to go into the description box to grab your free tips on interviewing skills. So are you ready to hear these important tips? The first two I'm going to put together. Be concise, be confident. When we get nervous, we tend to ramble. When we ramble, our quality information gets lost. Be concise and be confident. Rambling will make you sound tentative, insecure, and lacking in confidence. So remember this really terrific acronym, CPR. Be concise, be precise, and be relevant. The more concise you are, the more confident you will sound. There are several questions you know that will be asked. So plan ahead and practice your responses. This will help you. Questions such as, why did you leave? If you purposely left to take a break, what was the motivation? Was it academic? Was it educational? Perhaps you pursued an MBA or a certification. Maybe it was a family reason, caring for a loved one. So be confident, be concise. Number three, be honest. Tell the truth. I want you to think about what you did during that time. Whatever it was, there's value. As I mentioned, pursuing academics, taking care of a, a sick loved one, paternity leave, maternity leave. There is a reason that you took that break. So be honest and look at the positives that came out of the experience. Number four, emphasize your new skills or achievements. Now is the perfect time to transition the conversation to the great benefits that you offer. I have said this for years. Learn how to take the question and direct it in a focus that will emphasize your strengths, what you can offer what skill you have. So list them before the interview, prepare and practice so you know what it is you have to offer. So we're already up to tip number five. I want to remind you to subscribe and grab your free gift from the description box. And if that gift isn't the right one for you, check out our free resources. We have so many to offer. So tip number five is to focus your interest in the new position. Focus what you can do to add to the team. Again, remember, transition to your positives. Research the position so you know what skills you have that align with their goals. Stick to these tips and you will come off sounding like the confident professional you are. Remember to be honest, don't be negative, don't badmouth a past employer, and be sure to practice these tips to lead to your success. So let's recap. Be concise, be confident, be honest, emphasize your key skills, and focus on the new position. I'm Jane Latz, and I look forward to seeing you in the next 
video.